Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody today? Well, actually, I guess I'm kind of in a good mood. How are you, Phil? I feel effervescent today. Oh, really? I do. I'm just bubbling with excitement. <laughs> Well, that's good. Glad to hear it. Because you didn't look like you were too uh, excited to come up here. Hey, I'm enthused. Mm. Well, I'm going to be enthused if this works because this is Phil's experiment that he wants me to try. I'm sure it's been done a gazillion times, so I hate to even say anything that it's my experiment or anything. So I didn't uh, say idea. It's our ex your experiment. I know. But it's probably been done many times, so. Oh, well, I'm sure we have to specify that because otherwise they'll come back on us. That's right. And say, oh, that's been done. That's right. So anyways, I have my 12 by 12 round canvas and I have my color place from Walmart, antique white, parentheses, satin, no silicone, no water, no glue. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> so someone at, said to me, why don't you ever tell the size of your canvas? I tell it in every video. So obviously they just skip over the, the front part of it. That's true. So okay. anyways, my colors that I'm going to do today are Cobalt Turquoise by Golden, Mahogany and Milky Way by Primary Element, which is color art, Amsterdam Azo Orange. Moving on to Blick Deep Violet, Primary Elements Daffodil, PBO Iridescent Green Yellow. Moving on, Golden Dioxazine Purple. Marigold and Milky Way by Primary Elements and DecoArt 24 Karat Gold. The reason I'm saying moving on is because I'm going to stack three blooms on top of each other. Oh. One, two, and three. There we go. We're there gonna we see go. if it works. So, I'm sure it's been done many times before, but I have never done it. <laughs> What's so funny? Because you're bubbly? Uh, <laughs> well, it's funny because I can't even say why it's funny. Why is it that bad? Well, <laughs> somebody asked, in what order did you put the paints on the canvas? <laughs> and that was right below the link to the video. So it was very obvious that they, don't they didn't watch. even bother to watch the video. So. No. That's what I'm saying. They're asking me all these questions when it's right in the video. They need to watch. Someone asked me the specifications of the color to go from Sherwin-Williams. Oh, don't you? I'm not a uh, chemist. You're not a chemical engineer? No. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. All right. You, you need to call Sherwin-Williams <laughs> and ask them. It's like... We, we, People, I we don't sir, know this. We love questions and we answer many, many questions, uh, you know, every day. But uh, some of them are a little bit out there. And, They're off uh, the wall. We get a chuckle out of them. It is funny. Because it's like, oh, uh, no, I'm not an engineer here. <laughs> kind of wish I was, but no. Oh, okay. We'll just do it with this. Okay, this is our first bloom, and it is the Cobalt Teal, the Mahogany and Milky Way, and the Azo Orange with my black cell activator, which is Oxide Black from Amsterdam and Australian Floetrol. Got it. The ratio is in recipe 478, because somebody's going to ask me, what's the ratio? 478. It recipe. has all your pouring mediums for your... Paints and your cell activator. Correct. There's a direct link in the description box to video 478. And you can learn exactly how Kathy does her pouring medium. Okay, here we're going to blow. Gosh. Okay. Coming back. Got 
every time you blow your bangs fly. Well, you know what I think of that? Hmm. Fly me to the moon. Oh, jeez. Everything reminds you of a song. It does. <laughs> Okay, so that's the bass bloom. Actually, it's pretty cool. I hate to even cover it up. Very nice. Wow, that is a cool bloom. I'm going to put the second one right here. Oh, you're not going to put it on top. Okay. Well, that okay. is on top. Well it is on okay. top, though. Here's my thought when I was thinking of this, uh -huh. is on the base bloom, blow it out larger. Blow it out large. How much air do you think I have? Well, that's why I thought you were going to do it with the... With the uh, well, now dryer. you tell me. Well, you don't have to do it that way. That was just the vision I had when I was... We can spin it out bigger. You know? Well, yeah, however, however you want to do it. I'm surely not going to tip it. No. Oh, wow. Well, if you, if you tipped it a little just to get it centered, that is a gorgeous bloom. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Is it centered? Almost. Yeah. Well, we could fix that. Okay. <laughs> That's a beautiful base bloom. <laughs> okay. On to the second bloom on top of the under bloom. Base bloom. Base bloom. The base bloom. Yes. It's all about the base. The base bloom. <laughs> it's all about the base. Okay, we're moving on to Blick Deep Violet. I don't know what the object is here, but Phil's idea. Is that in the center? Kind of. Almost. I'll just make a bigger base uh, bloom on the base. Covering up all your beautiful cells. Well, we're going to see once. We're going to see once. If nothing else, maybe we'll get three beautiful blooms. This is daffodil. The base bloom will disappear. <laughs> I don't know. So, oh, don't forget to uh, become a member of Kathy's Facebook group, Paint Point by Kathleen Miller. You can post your creations, make comments, ask questions. It's a real fun group to be involved with. I've seen so many really cool things on there. I just love going through there and, and browsing through there. And also don't forget to subscribe to Kathy's YouTube channel, Paint Point by Kathleen Miller. You can see over 700 videos on that YouTube channel. And there's also discount codes that you can save money with. with Color Art Primary Elements Products, save 20% with coupon code Kathy Miller 520 and also save some money on KS Resin products. There's a link to each of those sites in the description box. Okay, the middle bloom okay. is ready. Okay, Phil, blow to your heart's content. There we go. You're bubbly. No, I'm effervescent today. Oh, that's right. I better blow it this way. It's closer to me. Okay, I'm going to start blowing out. Okay.
I can feel my bangs going up. Okay. Oh, my legs hurt from leaning oh, over. Oh, gee. Now, what I'm, what I'm hoping becomes of this whole process is a depth of coloration throughout the final triple bloom that you wouldn't normally get. I think that's really cool. That is so cool. Want me to spin it? Yeah. Or wait till the fern, final No, one. I think you could spin some of it. Oh, wow. Look at yeah. the middle of that. I know it did. It's now, sexy and it knows it. Oh, jeez. I mean, I can, it's already developing a, a cool depth. Um, I don't know if it needs to be centered a little bit before you do the last one. Um, even You may not even want to do another one. I think it's really, really nice with that. It has a beautiful central green and gold coloration. It's up to you. you, it's up to you of what you want me to do. Well, it's even really though I, we don't <laughs> want to wreck it. I know, but even though I really love it, uh, we should probably continue with the concept or experiment that we were going to do. We're going to lose that middle. I know, but it, the last colors could be stunning. Okay, stunning. we'll try so, it. Hey, so. Okay, everybody, take note well, of this. Well, that was the neat thing about this. You could stop at two, you know, at two, but just because for the video, let's go to three and see what happens. It may ruin it. It may enhance it. We will find out. It's only paint, you know. Hey, you, this is what you want me to do. I so. do, I do, I do. I'll just be glad when it's over because I'm getting a headache from having my hair back. <laughs> Jeez. Well, Not really. I, I never wear my hair back, though. It always wrecks it. Kathy does have an Amazon shop that she's curated with many of the supplies and products that she uses in her pink boring. There's a direct link to Kathy's Amazon shop in the description box. It's just great fun to go click into there. And all in one spot, you can find a lot of things, uh, supplies, things, <laughs> supplies and products uh, for your paint pouring needs. What? You're starting to talk like me, I am. Phil? You're rubbing off on me. Well, as they say, only good things rub off on other people. I hope so. And that's me. Yeah, I do like to rub you. I mean, uh, yeah, I like... <laughs> oh, that's real good, Phil. Hey, they know we're married. They don't know we're married. Well, well they These do now. People don't know they we're do married. Now. We might have new people on here for the first time. All right. Here we go with the third yes, bloom this is the on top of the other two blooms. We have the base bloom, we have the middle child, and we have the youngest child coming up now. Okay. So we have the oldest, the middle, and the youngest. And the middle one is always deprived, so they say. So look it, we went over her. Well. Oh well.
Okay, let's see what's under here. Okay. Oh man. As you can see, Kathy uses a flexible straw to blow on the excess cell activator and she's bringing up the colors that were under there. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it is developing the depth of colorations that I was hoping, hoping would uh, be achieved because we're picking up a lot of, of the different colorations that were put down, colors that were put down uh, during the three blooms. And we're starting to get a real nice orange and gold gold uh, central bloom and the purples on the outside of it right oh yeah the purple is out there too and then these original colors that were put down i'm gonna spin them yes bit. absolutely oh my stomach's crawling <laughs> okay do you want me to enhance it yes absolutely i didn't know if you wanted to does it need to be centered a little bit over this way or not? Maybe not. I don't want you to do something that you don't think needs to be done. I didn't need much, okay. Did it go? Oh yeah, okay. Just. Okay, I guess we'll just enhance it and see what happens. Yeah.
think I'm done. This is fabulous. I just want to point out, this has the, as I mentioned, I kept calling, talking about the depth of coloration, super depth of coloration. And the, the colors, the first few colors you put down on the bottom um, were, of course, the Which teal. Which was cobalt teal, mahogany and milky way okay. by primary element color art, and Amsterdam azo yellow. And I want to orange. point out that that is what is around the outer edge. That's why I wanted that bloom to be a little larger. And then the second set of colors is more a, a sort of a around that central bloom. Yeah, because you can was see the, the violet. iridescent green. Right. The you green, can see the violet. The violet. And you can see the yellow. And the yellow, yes. The yellow peeking well, through there. not too much not yellow. Not too much yellow, but just still. Just a tinge. Still, it's just a tinge. It, it, you have that uh, groupings of colors around the central bro broom, broom, bloom, which, of course, is dominated by... The marigold and the gold. And dioxazine purple. And that, oh yeah, dioxazine purple. So you've got all the colors showing um, with wonderful vibrance and depth to them. They're beautiful. And of course you're enhancing. It was fabulous. It's pretty. I, I love well, it. Phil, your experiment worked out. For me, at least. It's probably been done, like we said. It's probably been done many, many times. But this is... Uh, the first time, three, yeah, my, I've never done a three stacked bloom. So um, go ahead and try it. Pick out some colors and have fun. Like Phil said, it's only paint, and uh, he's effervescent today, and uh, it worked. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the bell. You will be notified every single time <clears throat> that Phil uploads a video. And until the next time, everybody, have a great day. I'll see you all later, alligators. Bye.